Hello everyone and welcome back to um Hogwarts Legacy. I'm here with Deke. I have also wearing a mermaid clothes. Well, I'm ready to learn how to use the is mermaid. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. There was a like, small country where he just showed me a bag which gave us a bit of a breeze. Um, something about helping um, capture and transport animals. Which we mentioned about uh, porches and whatnot. So Deke has offered to teach us more about the bag so we can potentially rescue animals. That is pretty much the gist of what I got. Um, the cutting happened when I appeared in the rooms of requirement. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Hmm. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Right, um... Oh! The knapsack is a skill, okay. Um... managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Um, okay, Deke, I shall meet you there. Uh, you know what? I'm... This seems like... A... Stupid idea, but I'm thinking about doing a video where I do not use the broomstick at all. Like if I want to go to a location, a location, it's either the flu flame or by movement, and then maybe another video where you don't even use flu flames. Deke, mate. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Um... What was it like Would working you mind with talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and 
Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. I respect that. I, I do you totally respect that. Do you have any advice that. on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. I'll try and I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Thank you, Deke. I rescued a jovenal. Deke hopes your jovenal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Right, um... On my way, Deke. On my way. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you, come How to did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Oh. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your <coughs> return. <coughs> Deke thinks you proud of all the potions you've brewed. trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Um, I think it's probably best if I just wait. Oh, 
Oh, all right. I thought I seen um, a side mission pop up. My mistake. Um, secret rooms, room of requirement. I've actually been a bit busy with the room of requirement. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Uh, okay. That looks sick. Oh my god, what? Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Um, most definitely. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as Ooh. puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Oh! Um... So I'm doing that one. Uh, I think it's this and this. Oh, there, not to go. Sorry. And you need to be fed. You look absolutely adorable. <laughs> Feed and brush this beast and it will release some magical materials that can be woven. Is sick. Mm. 
Deke, I have zero. I've collected place. some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Um, do that. I've got all the refineries what I can place down. Um, kind of like always make it red. Um, This way. Also, I think I got something else. something will automatically feeds um the beach but I can't remember. That'll probably be something we'll have to worry about later. That's something new, um, gear. I do the gloves since I do use angel magic. Oh, to actually highlight what I do. Okay, cool. Um, so, if you trade, um, so I'll have to look for these, so I'm going to have to pick one of these. Um, Decrease damage taken from spiders, yes. And view upgrade. And 
Uh, you got your little belly rub, eh? Hello? You need your food? So it has an offense and a defense. Okay. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Um, Deke. And no, the room's ambience is fine. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will. By rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Does the loom work with all clothing? Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your help, Deke. Yeah, so here I have been actually busy with Portions. All these here are Wigan World portions. So, <coughs> if I start running out of Wigan World portions, and I've got these to collect, and I've even got these giving me portions, I've got these so I can place down more items. I think I've got uh, two Dittany um, plants right, on that side here. We've got the sugar leg and we've got the shiny chomping cabbage. we got our fertilizer here. I barely use the fertilizer, which I should probably put some in there. Yeah, I barely use the fertilizer, but I'll, I'm guessing in the future I will probably be more into using it. Um, okay, so that. Okay, so that's. Let's see all that one. Yeah. Right, it's um, quests. Uh, I did say I was going to meet up with this dude. World map. Wow. Well. Hello.
Sebastian, I'm here, like I said I would be. You made it. Well, I did say I would. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Okay, let's get going. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Okay. Now go on and meet your sister, mate. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee. Yeah, what we got there? I've nothing said to that old man. I might. Sebastian, not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I can try. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting oh, well, tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. At least he cares. Hey, what's your uncle doing? Dorothy. They... I just don't understand why they went straight with, oh yeah, she's not getting better, she's done. Oh, 
Where the hell is Solomon? Wait, oh, boy, I'll fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. Oh, could be a good thing, mate. With all due respect, sir, Hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I hope to see hey, how don't Sebastian's talking fairing. smart to me, fam. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He was all alive, right? I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Perhaps <coughs> loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. I'm trying to be on my All the debris both you'll sides. see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Like, I understand there, that this dude's point of view, on that like, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Like, he's obviously there trying to save his sister. That's completely fine. I totally understand no, that. I like, expected to dig through this rubble. Ramrod, that's what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. <laughs> oh, 
You've made your last mistake. You fight about as well as a pupski. What the fuck? Rubber and wise coming back this way. Let's get this over. Take me. God. <laughs> 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 I'm up to the challenge. Stand on you. Seriously, you were so annoying. Your spell was blown off of me. 
Shield on him, nice, unnecessary. Is that all of them? Please say that's all of them. I did. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. Mate, that is an understatement. Seriously. <laughs> that was a whole new level of stress right there. <laughs> Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide something. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. What are this? I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Whose home was this? been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Revenia. I will say, like, although the battle was stressful, it was also fun. <laughs> stressful, <laughs> but fun. Don't forget, I am playing this on the um, hardest difficulty. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Rebellion. before the house the well the view what do you mean when give me a moment i'll explain in a second oh is this where the Rebellion. sebastian over here do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that anne was cursed could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. 
Uh, I guess I'll have to tell him now. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Wow. Look at this. Just straight Someone up told them everything, yeah? For a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh. A stairwell. Oh. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. I'll look at those a bit later. Revelio. Lumos. to believe this I can see the undercroft what a daydream because that happens to me too what I know it sounds strange honestly but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore fair enough I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window this has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know. But Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, <laughs> here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Let's go.
Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. a triptych here. Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Yep. Not Anything a helpful note. in the note? <laughs> a rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Yeah, I'll be sure. in touch. Till then. Peace. <laughs> I'm sure I'll burn all this off. I just wait and see if I get any owls. Meet me near the ruins of Falbatton Castle. After dark. Do not tell anyone. Okay. Really? Is that all the owls? Uh, all of the, the posts, what I'm getting. Um. So the this astronomy class I will be doing off camera. And I'll be doing this one on camera, but for now I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.